Lulu Farm Guy here, and this is Platform Trailer with Crane by Pascal Kreutz on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this demonstration of this interesting mod. 11.78 megabytes to download, 9 and 2 slots on console. It comes with two. A mod comes with a pallet fork and the platform trailer, which we will show every little detail about and how to use it and um, it has some very quirky things about it so if you're having trouble figuring this out uh, stay tuned we'll go through each uh, annoying aspect of this mod which is very cool very neat concept but I believe it's gonna need some tweaking so thus the update needed uh, tag that I believe I'm going to place on here but anyways where do we find it we'll find it under vehicles not vehicles, tools and miscellaneous. That's where it's all gonna be. Platform trailer, $58,000. We have an attacher option, which uh, I have to remember that to test. Main color option, we have a couple of custom colors and then all the Giants colors. $100 to change the color there and rim color. Again, we have, what's Chrome? Chrome's gonna cost three grand. Don't know why chrome is always super expensive. Anything else is like either zero or a hundred dollars Yeah, uh, let's see here silver is zero dollars So just so you know that and the pallet fork. This is an interesting option here took me a little bit to figure out How to use it? Of course that has the colors too. fifty dollars right so uh, Let's you know what let's start at the beginning shall we and we're just gonna buy one we're gonna make uh, put a, a hitch on it make it white and then get a pallet fork make that uh, pink because I like to make things pink sometimes and uh, we're going to um, show you all the oh uh, right Yes, there are some, definitely some quirky things about this that um, you need to know when operating it. So, it hooks up to a semi-truck trailer, as you can see here. And we'll go through some of the basic stuff first. It does sit a bit low, so when you're backing up a tr truck to it, it's going to be a little bit... Um, there's going to be a bit of a collision. See how low it is? That's the first thing. So if some trucks might, it might not fit under there. It might be, this is the base game MAN. So uh, there we go. Let's get our help window on because we're going to need it. All right. So we pulled ahead here and let's talk about the trailer first. You have to have it hooked up to a truck if you want to operate anything and I'll show you why let's show that first because it is a vehicle and you can get into it but if it's not attached to a truck you're gonna get this attached tool to what's it say attached tool to vehicle with turned on motor so pro tip here um, Notice this is still running, so let's go into our vehicle settings. Um, under vehicle settings, our uh, game settings, vehicle control. Notice this automatic engine start. Turn that to off, because if uh, if it's uh, if you have the automatic start where you get in and the engine starts and you get out and the engine stops, you're not going to be able to operate this unit so you must have the automatic engine start off so that when you get out of the vehicle it's still it's running hear that still running why is that important well we'll show you because if i get in there why well, we showed you you need to attach to a vehicle so if i get in here attach it and i get out the engine stops which i can do that right now i can manually turn off the engine Notice that R1 and square start engine, stop engine. Yeah, for those of you who don't know that feature. So I've turned off the engine. I get into here and I try to open the sides. It says, please start the engine, right? So that's very important feature. 
to have when operating these kinds of equipment that need to be hooked up to something. You have to have that automatic engine start turned off. Now we get into here. Now, here we have um, the first view. Now let's uh, L1 and open the sides, L1 and X. You'll need to do this to load pallets and big bags and so forth and so on. Now, operation of the crane, L1 and right stick left and right, swivels it and uh, yeah, the up and down, you're gonna have to go to R1 and R1 and uh, left stick or right stick. It's all right stick, L1 and right stick left and right and up and down there we go so now we go l1 and now we can left and right so it only goes there it stops there and then when you turn left it stops here so you only have um you only have 180 degrees of operation now view you have the oh and the view of uh, the view is as you can see yeah <laughs> you have this view or you have this weird crazy view that i can't yeah so that needs to be fixed the camera and uh, that camera angle needs to be fixed so now that we have this left and right and in and out out it goes quite far actually so uh, you can almost reach to the end from this end however l1 and r1 and right stick up and down you can move let's get this uh out of the way you can move uh anywhere on this track basically on the back so that's kind of neat that gives you a pretty wide range of uh, right, wide range of movement. And uh, the last L1 and R1, we go up to the end of the hook part. Oh, let's, uh, camera is not intuitive for me uh, for some reason. It's kind of backwards. L1 and R1 and right stick left and right. You see that you can uh, swivel the hook at the end. Right, now let's pull this back. And uh, I'm going to uh, I'm to go, I'm going to go ahead and grab a big bag, and we will show loading a big bag first with this, and then we'll talk about uh, the other piece of equipment there. So hang on, let me go grab a big bag. All right, so we have a big bag. Let's hop in. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, you can also R1 and tension belts from this seat or from the truck. Now, this is where the frustrating part for most of you probably is picking up a big bag. Um, the camera angle is you have to be fairly close and your you have to be within like there. So now that it's there, notice I'm not getting a trigger and you're not going to be able to pick that up until you get into the truck and there is your attach corn solid fertilizer yes you cannot do it from the crane which is highly well, well what was very befuddling for me at first because <laughs> it's like why won't it attach and yeah you have to get into the vehicle and now once you're here, you can go ahead. But now, how do you drop it? Oh my goodness, well, you gotta go back into the truck and uh, detach that and then get back out and get back in the crane and get ready for the second piece or the second demonstration, which we, uh, which we will do now. But uh, yes, highly highly annoying that you have to get into the truck to attach anything to the crane i think that was um perhaps something that was lost in the translation to console i'm on ps5 remember so 
yeah anyways on to the next the next item um in this pack is another interesting item this palette fork and um right so i will show you how that works next all right so here we are um we have the uh, unit over here how did i get it over here well basically i just pushed it over here with this because nothing unless you have a um a crane or something that has straps on it to strap this strap it to pick it up nothing will hook up to this except this that I, well maybe i was gonna say nothing nothing i have tried a big bag lifter hook doesn't seem to want to attach to that <clears throat> so um yeah again you attach this hook to this how do you do that well let's hop in here um and you're gonna have to get it fairly close to it and if i can uh the camera angles on this are atrocious right so we're sort of close um yeah this camera angle doesn't help me at all <laughs> and this camera angle is really wacky so we're pretty close there i think close enough and again you have to get out get in the truck and yes apparently we're not close enough which is highly annoying trying to get this Come on, lift, lift up, forward, lift up, forward. So I said the controls on this are not, that's got to be close enough. This is, really? Come on. Why is it not attaching now? It's got to be close enough. Let's spin that hook around. Maybe that's what it needs. I, I attached it before. There we go. Oh my goodness, what a pain in the ass. Um, pardon my... So now it's attached, as you can see here. But you can't... Oh, now you can. There we go. We can flip between the crane, the attachment, and the truck. Now the crane still operates... like it does so let's spin it around and this is actually um, an attachment so that you can pick up pallets which is kind of a neat idea i'm i'm not against that um let's see if we can adjust it here that we're going to be lined up now that's kind of neat now if we highlight notice top left corner i can highlight different pieces of equipment this is very important i highlight the end piece which we're attached to and that has actually a separate set of controls l1 right stick left and right you can slide that up and down there and the back and forth still works for the crane so now we have kind of operation of both uh, both um crane and the forks sort of left and right r1 and right stick you can adjust the width of your oh don't 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 go down too far or it'll go kind of squirrely yes it's it's very touchy uh, left and right again still L1 R1 left and right up and down whoa up 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 it's yeah L1 and R1 right stick you can swivel so that still works and up and down does this so let's uh, let's narrow these up a little bit get that down and and slide forward and there now we can lift oh lift up lift up lift up lift up as i said the controls are not all that intuitive uh okay now we got to go to the i was on the crane there we go what why is this i'm on 
there we go now we're on the crane it it doesn't like being it's it's pretty squirrely on there let's see if we can oh okay that's weird okay but um hopefully oh man um and it if you just want to drop it on the deck now you have to do you want to drop it off the deck guess what you got to get in the oh i was in the truck how did i get in the truck oh because i can oh you can operate it from the truck too i guess so um i thought i was in the v i thought i was in the crane was i not in the crane no i guess not that's very confusing even for me and i do a lot of this right okay oh that's what it is if you're in the crane you can't i'm toggling the triangle it's not i'm not you're stuck in the crane so if you want to operate yeah you got to go into the truck and then you can operate the individual pieces so from here we can drop the pallet fork but you can't do it in the crane guess what it won't attach either you have to go out into the is this confusing yes it's 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 highly confusing uh come on oh now i now i'm so off there we go so we can move it around in in the truck that's disturbing that you can do that um, but if you go to the train and into the crane, you can't, oh, now you will. Oh, wow. Weird. But you can't pick it up again. It won't give you the trigger. Anyways, um, hopefully that has answered some questions. Um, neat idea. Cool concept. I like the crane on the, um, it's just needs some working to make it more user-friendly. I I would find this very frustrating trying to load pallets and so forth on a truck when you can just use a forklift on a something. But yeah, it could be useful for some. But there it is, Platform Trailer with Crane by Pascal Krutz on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.